All right, so I'm going to mute all. All right, we are ready to go. You guys can hear me? We're good? So thank you guys for taking time away from your families to come listen to our stories. The purpose of this call is for us to introduce you to what we do as beach body coaches to share our stories with you. I hope that you have come in with an open heart and an open mind. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jeanette Maceda. I'm going to be hosting this call with two of my coaches, uh, Maria and Jackie. Um, we're gonna be going over what we do as coaches, our stories, and how you can do this too. If you are here and you were invited by, by one of our coaches, I would tell you that it took courage, right? It probably was very uh, scary for them to invite you. Take it as a compliment because if you are here, they saw something in you. If you asked to come to this call, you were seeing something in this opportunity. You're, there's a little piece of your heart that is tugging at this. And I want you to pay close attention to that feeling, okay? I'm gonna start with my story. For those of you that don't know me, like I said before, my name is Jeanette. I am a mom of two, of Gabby and Luca. My background is physical therapy. Growing up, that's all I ever wanted to do, become a physical therapist, and that's what I did. And you guys, I always like to say that I was a happy physical therapist. I got to make an impact on people's life. I could have done it the rest of my life. That is all I ever knew. Um, I did what my parents told me, and it's probably what your parents told you. It's like, go to college, get the college degree, get that job, stay there for about 30 years until you've saved enough money so that you can retire and then you get Medicare, right? Does that story sound familiar? Because that's what we are really taught. Even leaving college, they taught us to be really good employees. Nobody taught us to dream. Nobody said, let's go and you know conquer the world, find out what you're made of. That's not the real world. So I did it. I, I really did. My coaching story really starts when I became a mom for the second time. Oh my goodness. I thought, listen, the weight is going to come off just like I did with Gabby. Well, I was older and it didn't. And I was like, oh, oh, who is this person? <laughs> um, I wasn't myself anymore. I, I wasn't taking pictures. I, I didn't have a lot of pictures with, with Luca when he, when he was born because I just lost myself. I also went from being able to go to the gym even when I had Gabby to like, there's no more time. Baby one changes your life. Baby two, oh my goodness. They don't prepare you that for even more change. So I was watching this friend of mine uh, working out at home and I kept watching, I'm like, my God, I need her help. I need to do what she does. If she can get results at home, listen, I will do those home workouts. Of course, I thought it was gonna be like Taibo. I'm giving you kind of like my age when Taibo, <laughs> that's all I thought there was. Um, so I said, whatever you're doing, I'm gonna do it. Please freaking help me because I am lost. The first day I showed up, I thought I was going to die on day one. If you've done our programs, that's like almost everybody's day one. Holy shit, I'm done, I'm gonna die. But I showed up on day two and day three. And little bit by little, I started to find myself again. I was enjoying these home workouts. I was enjoying getting pushed every damn day. Within three months, I somehow got in the best shape of my life after having two C-sections. This was, I was at a crossroads here. I had to go back to work. And there was that, I have to take Luca to daycare. I also had a career decision to make in that I was getting really pressured in the physical therapy field to get a doctorate degree. I had gotten accepted. I was about to pay $20,000 for another college degree that would have no impact on me getting paid more. It was going to put me in $20,000 of debt. And I said, no, I saw this opportunity. I, I loved the way I felt. I knew that my friends around me were struggling the same way. So I said, nobody even invited me to coaching you guys. I called my coach. I'm like, I'm going to do this thing that you're doing. Show me how. <laughs> and I did it. And I went all in because my goal was, can I just be working as a PT twice a week? And the rest, can I be home with Luca? And you guys, I made it happen. Um, I was able to stay home with Luca for two years until I was like, kid, you're going to daycare. Mama needs a break. <laughs> Mama was not, I was not meant to be a stay at home mom. I couldn't deal with it. So two years um, in 2016, I was able to retire from physical therapy 
And I have been a beach body coach for the last seven years, which is incredible. I can't believe that this month, July was year seven. Um, this business, the first gift was finding myself again, right? Getting that confidence back. The second gift, it was time, time really with, with my kids. And the last gift is seeing what's possible, right? The possibilities that I never thought were an option for me and for my family. And the person that you see here, right? I kind of, if you follow me, I, I'm really good at videos and I, I developed into this person. Seven years of personal development has led me to this person. I did not know that this Jeanette was possible. I was definitely not that person on day one. And that's what this business does. It's a business that requires you to get really uncomfortable. But the cool thing is that that is where you're going to find your gifts and talents. And like I said before, I would have stayed in my career for the rest of my life. And I promise you, I would have gone to my grave with this person never discovering, never discovering my gifts and my talents. And forever, I will be, a, I will be so grateful that I get to do this because this, this is me living the best version of my life. And I know that this is not the end for me. I know I'm gonna keep growing. So um, I look forward to seeing who I will continue to become in, in the future. I, I never feel like I'm doing this job, right? Till this day, I wake up at 5 a.m. And you guys, I'm going on vacation and I already talked to a friend of mine who's on vacation, I'm like, are we gonna work? <laughs> and people might think this is crazy, but this is what brings me purpose. This is what fulfills me. I love being a mom. I love being a wife. But man, this, this is my jam. This is where, where I get to make a difference. This is where I get to change lives. This is where I get to leave my, my legacy. Um, I did not expect this business to impact my kids. I don't know why, right? I couldn't see past me, but I have these two little humans that are watching mom and dad live a healthy lifestyle, working out every single day. They are watching and listening to me building business. And I have these two little humans that now want to go on camera. And if you've ever watched me, like Gabby can do videos, like, I'm like, who are you? She's like a little mini me. And that is another gift, an unexpected gift, because I only saw my parents work really, really damn hard all the time. I didn't know what entrepreneurship is. And my kids now know there is another option for them if they're willing to work hard for it. So I asked my, my teammate, Alex, I think it was this year in January, we were sitting at an event and she looks at me and she's like, what's the vision for our team? And I'm like, Oh, that's a good question. I'll let you know tomorrow. And I sat down and I was going to, and I was like, all right. And I wanted to share this with you because you're going to be part of this team. I want you to know what the vision is. And I want to live an exceptional life. And I want to surround myself with people who want to live an exceptional life and who are going to be obsessed with transforming, right? Transforming themselves and transforming the lives that are around them right? And this movement, we're doing this movement together and we want to do this movement together and we want to live this life together. So now you know kind of like the vision of our team. I am going to send it to Maria and she's going to tell you her story a little bit about, you know, what she does and what we get to do as coaches. Thank you, Jeanette. Hello, everybody. My name is Maria. I am also, like Jeanette, a mom of two crazy boys um, based in Miami. So my Miami people, are you here? Show me if you're here. Yes. Awesome, Miami people. So a little bit about what we do. We can really outline what we do as coaches with simple daily behaviors. And when you look at what we do as coaches, there's really three main things that we want to share with you. The first thing we do is we work on becoming the best version of ourselves. Now, when I think about my own journey that started five years ago in 2015, I swore that I was the best version of myself in 2015. I was, thank, right, Jeanette? Jeanette? Jeanette and I have known each other since uh, college years. We're sorority sisters. So at that time, five years ago, I had it all. I had a job. I was an assistant principal at a low performing school in Miami. Um, and I had worked hard to get to that position. 
I had my career planned out from there. I was already being prepped to become a principal and I was planning to work in the district right after that. We had a, bought a brand new house in a great neighborhood. We had two beautiful little boys that I was ready to raise and be that A plus mom, A plus wife, A plus everything. I was gonna just be amazing at everything. And it quickly hit me after Pedro was born um, and after three months of maternity leave that I went back to work that I was not going to survive this life that I was going at the rate I was going. I would leave every day by 7.15 and drop off my kids either here at home with my mom or the nanny. I would race to work between those hours. I ran a school alongside a great team of people, a school in a really hard neighborhood. I would come home by 5.30, mother, dinner, baths kids not sleep, go back to work over and over and over. And really it, it hit me the day of Pedro's baptism. Um, the day of Pedro's baptism, when I went to put on this yellow dress and I squeezed on this girdle that I was wearing for months because I, I refused to buy a size 16 dress. I had never been a size 16. Um, I didn't put on makeup. I showed up with my hair just like this at the church and my grandmother who was here from Chile looked at me and she's like, Get the pasa. Like, why are you not dressed up? I didn't want to be there. I didn't want pictures. I wanted to go home. I, I didn't want to be there. Soon after that, I called Jeanette because Jeanette for eight months had been asking me to join her. Eight months. And I, who had it all together, refused to say yes to Jeanette because I was going to do this on my own. I was going to do it all on my own. And I called Jeanette that week and I told her, I need everything. I need everything because I had been watching Jeanette just shine through her, just her interactions on social media, every time we would get together with our friends and family, everything about her was just completely different than the person I knew in college. I'm like, what is she drinking? What is she eating? Like, what is she doing? I want whatever she has. I needed that in my life. And I told Jenna, I need this for me and I need this for my family because we had gotten debt or accrued new debt because of buying a home. So I went all in from day one because of her persistency and pushing me and saying, I have this for you, this community for you that you need. I didn't realize I needed it. And when I went all in, I will share with you that in that first year, I truly went all in with what Jeanette was telling me. She would tell me, read this book, I read the book. Listen to this podcast, I listened to the podcast. My fear was that I was not gonna be able to do this because I was working still as an assistant principal, a mom to two little kids. But I learned that on my 30 mile drive to work, I would listen to podcasts. On my 30 mile drive back home, I would call my challengers. And the other thing I was worried about, I thought I had to wait until I had this huge transformation to invite people. I didn't. People trusted me. People still trust me. So because of that, I called all my friends and family that I knew were going to love this. And I said, I want you to do this with me. And because they knew I did not spend time on bullshit, they said, I'm doing it with you, Maria. I don't care what it is or how much it costs. I'm doing this with you. And in that first year, I started to realize that I needed to become the best version of myself because I wasn't where I thought. I was at that point. And through that comes the second point, shining your light out for others. So the first thing definitely is continuing to grow and become that best version. But as we do that, we start to realize that there's this light inside of us that starts to come out for everyone. And we do not discriminate. What I love about this community is that we have a program, an option, anything for everybody. And it's amazing. So in my personal journey, my light at that point had completely dimmed. I had even checked off those boxes. Like I shared, I was climbing up that corporate ladder and I would show up to work because I had to, I had to. And then every time I was going to a Beachbody community that first year, that Beachbody event, I went to my first summit, a light came out, a, something, something inside me was like, yeah, I was excited about all this new stuff going on. And I realized that my light was shining in the wrong place. It wasn't until the day that my older son started pre-K three that it, it truly hit me. Um, I left that morning way too early. The sun wasn't even up. He was three years old, so he didn't realize what was happening that day. But I remember having to be at work at seven because my principal told me I had to be the first one there. I stood at that door at 7.30 and I welcomed all the kids in. And close to eight, my phone started going off from our nanny and my husband. Our nanny kept on sending pictures and pictures of Luis Madel being walked to school by my husband of with her on the first day of school, of my son standing at the door. And I just lost it at that gate. And I remember one of the moms was like, girl, you don't gotta cry, we're all sad. We're all excited that school's back. You don't have to be upset. And she had no clue while I was crying. I was crying because I wasn't there. I shouldn't have been there. I should have been with my son at that door that day, dropping him off for school. And it's that day that I remember, Jeanette and I talked right after that, that I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. 
So even though everybody had me climbing up that ladder, I climbed myself right back down that ladder. And I give full credit to this community because it made me realize that I could dream bigger, that I could do more, and that I didn't have to do what everything and everybody around me was expecting me to do. And it felt good. And the day that I told my principal I'm leaving, she's like, you're crazy. I'm like, I might be. But even now she's like, Maria, you made the right decision because I am now a block away from my house. I walk to work whenever I want to with my kids and I'm home by 310. And I am shining my light for others in a community that takes it and that wants it and that needs it and where I feel appreciated. So as a coach, we do these things daily. We continue to grow through personal development every day, whether we're listening to a podcast, a book, or reading books about personal growth. We're allowing our light to shine to everybody, no matter whether they're a customer of ours or not. And the last one is we help others do the same. And it's pretty easy. We invite people to join us on this journey from day one. We don't wait until we are at our first goal because you never have an after. There's never an after point. All the points that we have in our life are progress points. They're like checkpoints. So from day one, you tell them, do this with me, and you cheer them on as loud as you can be. And the louder you cheer them on, the longer they're going to stay with you. And those people, those changes, those messages are what are going to allow you and push you to continue on this journey and be here with us five years from now on another call. So there's little other things that we can share with you. But like I started off by saying, this is what we do every day in a nutshell. We become the best version of ourselves. We shine our light on everybody. We help others do the same. And now I'm going to hand it over and introduce my teammate, Miss Jackie, and also a fellow teacher, who's going to go over some objections that I think all of us had at some point. Hi, everybody. So I'm Jackie. I am the Debbie Downer of this business, or I was, I should say. <laughs> um, so Jeanette asked me to speak in this call because I am I, I used to be the epitome of what you know objections are for this business. Um, I just a little bit of background. I uh, joined Beachbody about three years ago, not as a coach. I joined by myself and my computer with my $99 Beachbody membership. Um, and the reason why I joined was because there was a turning point in my life at that point. I had a little toddler. I had a son that was going to swimming practice every day. I, I was at home. I was able to stay at home after I had my second daughter. Um, but I felt like I had, you know, I had so much growing to do. I was not challenged. I felt like, okay, now what? Is this it? I'm a wonderful mom, but then how about me? So I, I, I would watch my, my husband go through Spartan races and finish the Spartan races. And I would just sit there on the other side, just watching. And one day, um, and, and, and throughout all of this, I felt unhealthy. Yes, I was not overweight. That was never really my issue. My issue was more of like the lack of strength and the lack of, I always had headaches. I was always very tired. Um, I avoided any kind of physical activity that I could possibly avoid. And I was only in my mid thirties. And so it got to the point that one day I'm watching my husband finish a Spartan race and he tells my son, um, yeah, you know, mommy's going to do this with us next year. And before I could sarcastically say, uh, yeah, right. Right. My son interrupted and he answered for me and he said, no, Bobby, she can't do this. She would be super tired. She can't do this. She can't her feet. I had had three extensive surgeries on my feet. And so I use that as an excuse all the time to not have to do like hard labor and physical things. Um, and so he mentioned that. And I was like, wait a minute, what have I been teaching my son all along? Yes, I'm an awesome mom, but what kind of message have I been sending him all along that I didn't even notice I was sending? right? He's seeing this mom that yes, is great, but she can't do certain things. She's weak. She's not strong. Um, she's unhealthy. She can't keep up. And that was not the message I wanted to send my son. And so that was kind of like the turning point when I was like, okay, I need to do something about this. This is not right. I want to do that Spartan race and I'm going to do whatever it takes because I want my son to see that his mom can do challenging things, right? His mom is not just going to sit at home, you know, watching a toddler. She can do things that are hard, right? And so uh, that's when I went online and I just got my membership and I started working out on my own. And um, I used to know, I, I still know a lot of coaches and 
back then I just didn't identify with any of those coaches that I knew. So I, I was not interested in joining with any of them. I just went on my own. I was like, I can do this on my own. Uh, you know, and my husband is fit. He likes fitness. I can do this with him. And so I did that for like two and a half years until I came across Jeanette's profile one day. I'm not sure how, um, I know we have a few, uh, followers, uh, or people that we know in common. So I came across her, her profile and I was like, Oh wait, she's a beach body coach. She, she didn't strike me at first as a beach body coach because she was so real. She was so authentic. And, and I, I, in my mind, I had the preconceptions that I, from the other coaches that I knew that I just didn't vibe with. Right. And she was just a completely different light that, that came through my, through my feed. And so I started following her and she was so positive and, and the way that she would communicate her passion towards this business and towards health and just towards everything that this business promotes and, and, and is about, I just, I was like, I have to connect with, with this lady. So I, I texted her through Instagram. I'm like, Hey, you know, we, we connected a few times here and there. And then I finally was like, you know what? I don't have a coach. Um, I don't even know who my coach is because I signed up online. Um, can you coach me? And she was like, absolutely. Yes. So we started kind of having this, this relationship and we had a lot of things in common. She loves, you know, reading nutrition facts all along. I thought I was the only crazy person that would sit there and read. I literally had a parent of one of my students one day come up to me and say, Oh, I saw you the other day at Whole Foods, but you were reading a, a label and I didn't want to interrupt. And I was like, Oh my gosh, that looks, that's crazy. Right. Um, but so she, her and I had that in common. I was like, Oh my gosh, she looks at the same things that I look. And, and we just started having this relationship. And so at that point, she, she did approach me about the coaching business. She was like, listen, like you already know we're about, you've been doing this for a long time. You know, we work like, you know, this is amazing. Why don't you share this with people? And I was like, Oh no, 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 that's not going to happen. I asked you to coach me for me and for my mind and for my health, not for you to coach me at, to be a coach. Like you, you misunderstood. Right. But she kept on, she kept on and she would do it in a really charming way. She would put these little Snapchat filters and would like literally make fun of my excuses because that's all I had was excuses and fears and objections that were all in my head. They were all in my head. I, I saw them as so real, but they were truly all in my head. And so as you're sitting here today, you might have some of those objections and they're, and they're normal, right? When we don't know about this business and how we can share it, those objections are very easy to identify, right? So I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be on social media was my thing, right? I am a teacher. I don't want parents seeing me work out. I'm not going to post the sweaty selfie. That's just not me. I don't even have pictures of myself alone on my entire profile. Like you can go right now, maybe one, two, right? And I've only been just doing this business for five weeks. So you know, I'm still growing a lot. It's still very difficult for me to do social media. But at that point, I was like, Jeanette, I'll, I'm, I'm ready to learn. Yes, I would share because I, I can think of so many people in my head that would need this and that would benefit from this and that I would rather do this the right way, not the way that I did it three years on my own. Right. And I think I can I can do that. But there's no way I'm doing it on social media. I'm not going public on this. There's no way. And she just kept giving me the tools and just the mindset and, and, and the belief, like she kept, kept transmitting that belief of like, yes, you can, what you have to say is important. People do want to hear what you have to say and what your story is about and how you got here and, and what you might have to, to contribute to their life. You never know who's watching, right? You never know who needed that one post that you decided to post one day. Right. And that you were so nervous about posting, but then you finally posted it. And then you get this reaction back that you're like, oh, wow, that person really needed to hear that. And I didn't think it was important. And that makes such a difference. So the social media was a huge thing. Um, you know, I don't know how to sell. I'm not a salesperson. I'm a teacher. I've never sold anything in my life. I know how to teach, how to read. I'm really good with my kids. I can tell you that much, but I don't know how to sell a product. I don't know. Um, 
that was another objection. And, and, and the reality of this business is that we're not selling here Buy this. That's, that's not how we are. We, we, we sell or we make our business out of sharing our beliefs, sharing our experience and our growth and how this business and this company has transformed our lives. And that's really what, what, um, what it's all about. It's not about selling. It's about sharing with others so that they can grow with you too. Um, and that was something I didn't understand. I thought that every meeting was going to be about learning about Shakeology and the ingredients and that I was going to sell the products. And it's never, I've actually, I've never been in a meeting that have explained to me the ingredients of Shakeology. <laughs> you ask me right now and I, I, I just know it's very, very good for me. Okay. Um, and that, you know, the performance line, I know that it doesn't make me go to the bathroom like the other ones did. I know that it doesn't give me the jitters. Okay. And, and that feeling of like, my heart is here. I know that it makes me want to, you know, do everything that I want to do and focus without any of that bad stuff. So that's what I know about that. I'm sure at some point I'll learn it, but it's only been five weeks and I'm learning social media. Um, and then the other excuse was, again, I don't have many followers. At that point, I was private. I told Jeanette, I was like, no, I'll, I'll share with the people that already follow me, which was like 100, maybe like 112 people or so. Um, and she was, she was like, yeah, really? Okay, well, all right, we'll figure it out. All right, you want to do it? That, that's fine. You can do it like that. And little by little, she would just give me the tools to be able to come out of that shell and to be able to start, you know, giving myself the worth that I should have given myself from the very beginning. And so what I want you to take from, from this, you know, Debbie Downer over here is that, you know, they, they gave me all the tools to get out of my head. And what I love about this team, because every team is different, but what I love about this team is that mindset is number one. And every time we meet, it's not about, ooh, who are you going to get? Or, or what are you going to sell? Or how about those points? Or how about the money? It's never about that. I'm telling you that from my heart sincerely. It's always about what life did you change today? Today, I changed another person's life. Today, I, I was able to, to change someone's mindset. And, and I was able to convert them to a coach because they now believe in themselves. And that is what coaching does. It just lights up this fire. And I, and I always say that it's very similar to when I'm in the classroom with my students and, and they get it, they finally get it. And you see like their eyes, they're like, oh my God, you know, I, I said something that made them understand what I was saying. It's, it's, it's a very similar feeling when somebody texts you and says, thank you so much for pushing me. Like, this is exactly what I needed. To, to get back up and start again, or to feel better, or to get a hold of my life. That's life changing. And so if you have objections, just think that everybody starts from the beginning. Allow yourself to be a beginner and to, and to learn from all these amazing coaches and these mentors that we have that have been doing it for so long and that are so knowledgeable. And, and just, you know, yes, of course, have those ob objections and, and, and feel them, but, but allow yourself to grow and learn. And, and with this team, it's just, it's, my growth has been exponential. I can tell you that much. It's been five weeks and I do have the sweaty selfie on my profile. I do have the workout. I'm gonna tell you a super short story, but I think it's hilarious. And Jeanette, I'm sure is gonna agree. So I told, I told Jeanette, okay, yeah, I have to film a workout because I have to show what it is that I'm doing, right? And Jeanette is laughing because she knows exactly what I'm going to say, but I have to say it. So I tell my husband, okay, you need to work out with me because there's no way I'm doing it by myself, right? And he starts working out with me and my dog was feeling really sick that week. And I have the, the, the phone propped up and it took me forever, kept falling, like the craziness, right? And we filmed the whole video and suddenly my dog goes right up to the camera and throws up. I'm not lying. I have the videos to prove this. Okay. And I'm like, are you serious right now? I cannot believe this just happened. So I text her and I'm like, can you believe that the first video that I take of myself working out to post the dog comes and literally throws up right in the middle. And she's like, that would only happen to you. I'm like, of course. So 
anyway, needless to say, yes, I have the sweaty selfie. Yes, I have the workout videos. Um, I'm getting myself on video a little bit more. I'm, I'm finding all those little things that I'm like, man, you know, this would be helpful. You know, I think this is important. And little by little, I've gotten there. And, and, and there's, only, there's only more growing to do from here. So that's, that's all I got. <laughs> Maria, you can go ahead and you were, you were. I will jump in. And apparently your dog thought it was a great workout. Because sometimes at the end of a really good workout, you want to throw up, right? So that was your dog's reaction to that one. All right, I'm back everybody so now that we've shared a little bit more about what we do some objections you know you've heard a little bit more about who the just the three of us are and there's so many of us behind the scenes just here you can see a snapshot of two pictures of more of our team members um you're probably thinking what comes next right so first i want to talk a little bit about why now um i think all of us on this call and those of you listening in maybe later would agree that the number one thing on our mind right now is health Okay, this is worldwide. This is not just locally. Health is the number one focus on probably everybody's mind um, for the past few months. And of course, why? Why? Because we know that in order to, um, to make it through, if we were to get sick through a virus, right, our bodies need to be as strong as possible. So in my family, we stocked up on all the veggies and all the fruits, effective March 13th. And I do emergencies and I bought stock in emergency and I've been chugging water and everything possible because I knew that we needed to be as strong as possible. So health, number one, right? And then the second thing is fitness. If you're like me, I haven't stepped foot in a gym in years, but if I had to, I wouldn't because I refuse to go share right now a machine with a bunch of sweaty people that I don't know and I don't trust anybody else. So health and fitness right now are huge and on everybody's mind. So why start now? Beachbody as a company has been around for 20 plus years and it started as a simple video recording on a beach that came on a VHS, okay, with a guy named Tony Horden. So if you know this company and you know him, he was the, he's the legend of Beachbody. And from there, this company is, has become the number one company in the world of health and fitness. So um, just a few amazing things that they do. Every three to four months, Beachbody pushes out a new fitness program. And what I've loved about this is that I am able to keep a routine going consistently, right? So fitness can happen throughout a whole year and every three to four months, something new is coming out that allows me to shock my body, right? And be like, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm back to day one again. So I could have maybe just finished a fitness program and I feel super strong and I lifted a 10 pound weight and now I'm back to a brand new program like I started a few weeks ago and I'm back to five pounds because it completely changes you. So you're not doing the same thing over and over. You don't get bored. But there's also that option for people that do love to do the same thing. And you can do that from anywhere. That's the beautiful part of this. So another reason why you start now is because everybody around you is thinking health and fitness from home. Most people will not want to go anywhere to do it. They want it to be affordable. They want it to be accessible. And most importantly, and I know all of us are here for us, people are thinking about their family unit. And that's what this company is about. If you listen to the CEO of our company, he will tell you over and over about he wants this to be accessible to everybody from under the roof of their home, not just fitness, but also nutrition. So the option and next steps are very simple. And it falls into two different groups. Some of you in this are in this call and have been a part of our community already. You have fallen in love with the Beachbody programs. You've been a part of our accountability groups. You've seen us behind the scenes already, and we've been cheering you on. So your next steps are now to start inviting those around you to join you and to just share what you love about this company, about the products and the programs. And hopefully you've already signed up as a discount member or discount coach, and you're ready to run with this business. Now there's also a group of you on this call that are brand new. You have no clue what this company is about. You've never tried a workout. Maybe you've never even tried Shakeology. Um, you really don't know much, and that's awesome too. So that group, the company has what are called bundle packs, what, I call, um, what are called challenge packs. I call them bundle packs. And they bring everything in one bundle that first month. So in the past two months, we've launched a new program, which is freaking amazing. It's become my top favorite. And where are my coaches? Anybody else becoming top favorite program? It is 30 minutes. Um, it's popping out some abs in my upper belly that I pretend are abs, but they're not really abs. And I have some guns growing here, okay? I'm still eating the cookies, okay? So that's why I'm messing up a little bit. 
point is that these bundle packs give you everything. They give you the year of fitness, they give you both of our nutrition programs, and they give you our Shakeology or our supplement. And it's really the best pack for you to just kick off and have everything and then start trying things out. And you're gonna just fall off your seat. Hold on to your chair when I tell you how much it is. You ready? One, six, zero, done, 160 bucks. This is insane because the company for the first time ever is adding our nutrition programs to all of our challenge packs and it's a freaking deal. So a lot of times we are fearful that it's going to cost thousands of dollars or I have to pay all this money really is $160 to start. And then from there, Shakeology, you're going to fall in love with it. You'll get that monthly or you can swap it up. In my house, I jump between Shakeology and our bars and there's a $15 member fee. So just like we pay for a Costco fee, or you might pay to go to the, you know, when we all went to the gym back in the day, we paid for that fee, something like that. But really, it is such a great low cost. And of course, the goal as we're on this call is to grow a business. And the number one goal within those first few months is that all the things that come with the business, you are paying for with the people that you're bringing in, right? That would make the most sense. So after that, the only thing I would suggest is whoever invited you on this call, just talk to them. Tell them, look, I'm interested. If you're brand new, like I said, They'll share with you the different packages. And if you've been with us for a while, that person will tell you what those next steps are. And then from there, you decide, do you want to run with us? Do you want to jog alongside with us? Or you just want to take a walk and see how it goes. And that's your choice. All of us are so different. You might say, you know what? I want to sign up to be a business member, but I want to walk. I want to see how it goes. I want to learn along the way. That's, that's awesome. And maybe all of a sudden one day you're like, I'm ready to run. Or maybe you start running and all of a sudden you back up, you're like, I'm going to jog for a bit. It's okay. All of us are in completely different paths. And there's actually people on this call that might start running and one day be like, you know what, this isn't for me. And that's okay too. The goal though, is that along the way, you focus on being the best version of yourself. You shine that light on everybody you see and that you invite people to join you on your journey from day one, don't wait, okay? And if you do that every single day, you will see that you will be with me, Jeanette and Jackie, and all our other coaches five years from now on this call, okay? So now I'm gonna hand it right back to Jeanette, who's gonna close us out. That was awesome, you guys. So start dropping your questions because we wanna be able to answer them before this call is over. Um, how many of you, and, and just, you can put in the chat, how many of you have stopped dreaming? Really, how many of you stopped, right? I used to dream all the time. As a little girl, oh my God, I was always daydreaming. At a certain point, after being in my career, having kids, I stopped. I don't know why. I just thought, well, I got it. This is it. This is life. You know, I got the job. I got the house. I got the, the family. Things are good. That's it. That's all I ever needed. I had no idea that there was so much more. And this, this business will have you dreaming again. And I get as a mentor to help you dream bigger. And the cool thing is that the things that I dream about, I have teammates, I have coaches that are already living that dream. And a model that we have and, and that I love to use is that if she can do it, we can do it and I can do it, right? That is the way this community, and I like to say our, our Beachbody family, that is how we operate. And I think that in corporate America, you see people climbing up and you're like, oh, here we go. I got no chance to be there. What happens here is as women and men climb up, they look back and be like, hey, I found a way. I'm going to teach you the way and I want you to come with me. And that gives me chills because that is what we do. Like, and I'm not just saying our team, I'm like, this is our culture as a company. How are we going to do this together? Because there is plenty of room for all of us at the top. <laughs> really, really important, right? So I want to ask you this. What's the worst that can happen with this, you guys? What is the worst? And you're probably like, okay, I do it and I'm not good at it and I fail. Okay, that's not it. That is not the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is that you don't try, that you allow fear, all these objections stop you from saying, I'm going to give this a shot. And you will never know what maybe what you're made of. You might not know that you, you have this other person <laughs> inside of you 
if you let this opportunity just kind of go by. We are going to guide you. We are doing this together forever. You are never going to be alone in this business. And that is the cool thing. I don't know what other business requires you to work on yourself mentally and physically that you get a team to back you up, that you get people that are going to be your cheerleaders and have a business plan. Like literally, we're going to start training you from day one. From the moment you say, okay, I'm in, we start training you. We start the training already this Saturday. And for the next month, we're going to be really, really hands on with you. We don't find success unless we help you succeed. Why not you? Really, why not you? There's nothing special about me, about Maria, about Jack. No, nothing special, right? Other than that we're willing to commit, that we have committed to this life of, of transforming, of making an impact, on dedicating our time to working on ourselves day in and day out. I need you to believe that you can do this, right? And if you can't believe that right now, can you commit to convincing yourself every day saying, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I'm transferring my belief onto you. Borrow it for some time until you start believing in yourself. There's so much possibility out there for us, for us, that I never knew was possible, right? So where we are today, where I am today, this is not the final destination, right? I don't care how young or how old, how many kids, how many, time, how many years you've been on your careers, how, this is not it. There's so much more life to live, to do, and we're gonna do this together. So I'm asking to give me a year, right? Change doesn't happen overnight. Learning doesn't happen overnight. But can you commit to a year of showing up, of transforming, of being here day in and day out? And if you can commit to a, to a year of really doing what we ask you to do, you will be here two years from now, three years from now, and four years from now. So that is all I got for you guys. Um, questions, thoughts, comments. Are you ready? <laughs> So let me, let me look at the chat. I, I didn't. Um... Okay. So Elsie says, can you speak about the no's you will get and not getting discouraged? Uh, like any business, you know how much failure goes into having a business, any business. There's so much failure. I mean, um, just the author of JK the Rawlings, the, the Harry Potter. I mean, she was denied over and over and over. And that story, it's just a story of, pretty much every entrepreneur that there is failure and there is no's that are coming. And that's why personal development is one of the vital behaviors that we do as coaches. When someone tells me no, I'm doing my job. That means I'm sharing this gift. And a no, when someone says, hey, Jeanette, no, they're not saying no to Jeanette. They're saying no to this opportunity. And a no today, that's just the beginning of this conversation. Right? That's just the beginning of me forming and starting adding value to that person. A no today does not mean a no tomorrow. Uh, Maria, she says a month. I really want, in my head, I think that took her two years, right? <laughs> I think it's two years. You know, Jackie, I really stopped her. Like every day I was like, hey, hey. And that's the story of a lot of my coaches. Like it took a long time. That is the story of a lot of my customers. I mean, Alex is one of my childhood friends. I think she, she's just been with me three years. She watched me for four, right? It's, I don't care how long it takes people. I know the value that I offer. I know the team that I've been, I'm building. I know the business that I'm in. Yeah, there's enough people out there that you're going to succeed if you keep sharing, transforming. So the no's don't bother me anymore. You get used to it. So Eileen says, I'm in the process of getting certified in nutrition and as a transformational coach. Can I use this because I have no idea what I'm doing to, <laughs> I'm going to do with it. I work in healthcare. Yes. And that's the cool thing is that you get these degrees, right? Okay. I'm a coach. Okay. Now what do you do? Like, I'm not talking about beach body coach. I'm talking about another coach. Then now you have to like come up with your own business plan. And now you have to come up with your own clients. You guys, there's a business plan here, right? We're giving you the business plan. We're going to walk you through this business, which is another cool thing. Like I wanted to freaking open up a, a, a clinic. 
I had no idea how to open a clinic and, and I wasn't going to spend $200,000 to open a clinic. So it is, I mean, I think that this business is so cheap. I think that sometimes it's, it's too cheap. Like where do you get to build a business for $160, $160, you know, I don't, there's no financial risk. How many businesses can you open up without any financial risk? Um, so recommend a book to start if you are contemplating be, be becoming a coach. There's so many books, but I think what I recommend lately to my challengers, to my clients, to my customers, and there's a bad word, and I don't know why he chose this book, the name, it's called Go Unfuck Yourself or Unfuck Yourself. Um, it's a great mindset, right? I think your success lies in here and what you believe is possible for you and what you think it's not. We convince, it's funny, and I was talking to a coach is that we convince ourselves of every negative situation, right? Why don't we ever convince ourselves of things that can be done, of the possibilities? And it's all a mind shift, right? And, that, and that's what I've learned to do throughout the years. And that's what I teach my new coaches is how do we transform in here quickly, you know? And when someone says, Jeanette, I can't do this, you know, my, my, my thing is, what evidence do you have today that gives you that, right? What evidence do you have that you can't do this? Most of you are probably rock stars in your careers. And I always say that I'm like, you're rocking motherhood. You're rocking your job. What makes you think that this new role as a coach, you're not going to rock? I've had that conversation with Maria a lot, right? Because I mean, and I, and I get to see the transformations, which is really cool. Like I've seen Jackie transform in five weeks. Maria, she's had, what a summer. She's like had her breakthrough summer. And it's because she's doing the thing, right? She's in here. And now she knows how to get herself out of the negative thoughts. She's gained that skill. I don't and know, I'll Maria. jump in on that. And I'm yeah. very honest about it. If, if anybody follows me on, the, on social media, I, when I have bad days, <laughs> podcasts have com completely changed me. I listened to four of them yesterday. My husband looked at me in the morning. He's like, Está insoportable. I'm like, don't even talk to me. I'm listening. I need, because there was so much stuff in my head, but other people's words and not everybody. Like the first one didn't get me. The second one didn't get me. It was the third one. The third person I listened to, I was like, yes. It was like going to church. I'm like, yes, amen. I didn't even go to yeah. church. I was like, hallelujah. I listened to it three times. And then at dinner, I was smiling. My husband's like, get the bustle. I'm like, I feel great. It's just insane. It's yeah. all the junk that goes in here that comes with motherhood and life and COVID and pandemic. So I was like, oh my God, it's so much stuff. But then when you lean into a good workout, when you listen to the good music, when you have friends like Jeanette, you know, who are just a bundle of energy, you know, in, in a community like that, and you know what to do, you have tools. It, it just becomes awesome. It really does. And you guys, COVID hit and we leaned in. Like, you know, like how people were going crazy with the con pandemic. We got into this little bubble saying, okay, we're going to work out together every day. We, we, we would do work weekend workouts together every once in a while. Since March, six days a week, we offer, like, we're showing up, like Jackie, Maria, I, Vanessa, Sarah sometimes goes. At 7 a.m., we're working out together. We started having happy hours. We started celebrating, like, our world just, we just kind of shut the world down. And what we've been able to do in our business since COVID hit is really incredible. And that goes also for the network. It's just like, all right, you guys, we're going to just keep going. And, and, and just, there's been so many changes in our businesses, in the company. It, it's blown up. And I think because we had the tools and we had the community to almost survive, you know, there were so many people that were lonely. I honestly haven't felt that because of this interaction, how we've leaned in to each other. Like, it's been crazy. And, and, you know, we've missed so many events, like all our events have been canceled and, and, you know, our company has, has tried to make up for that virtually. Like they, they've really tried to make this transition as best as, as they can. They really, they, they've gone, gone beyond and beyond. Um, okay. Oh, so, so Leah is like, I'm very grateful to Edith for inviting me. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Um, so, so, so Leah did beach body challenge many moons ago. It's completely changed you guys. So if you were in the DVD era, wow, we, we've just blown it up now. I mean, the no, the new one that we're doing was filmed during COVID. So literally it's done zoom style. Like it, it, they're so innovative and we have a lot of new programs coming out. 
We're going to have a running program, which is completely new. We came out with a pre and postnatal workout um, last week. Um, and there's another one coming that's just going to kill us uh, for January. So th this is a company that is just constantly like, hey, we're going to get better. Here it goes. So we, we really are. It's like, I, I, I was telling my husband, it's like a sugar addict at a candy store. You're like, I want that. I want that. And that's what we are with fitness. Like, the next one's coming. Are you going to do it? Let's go. Like, we haven't finished this, and I'm already thinking about the running one. It really is cool. Uh, so, Eileen, what podcast do you girls recommend? Ooh, where do I go? Um, I start my morning with quote of the day. It's 10 minutes, and that's how I start. Oh, Trent I leaned into Trent Shelton. That's my guy. Lady. Trent, we discovered Trent and he was in our, he was um, an NFL player. He just speaks to me. He's like my church. Okay. Yeah. He's amazing. I just got his book. Uh, he was in our, in our summit for the leaders. Like he is, he's amazing. He's amazing. I like the, the life coaching school is pretty great. Which one? The life coaching school. Yes. Yes. I with Brooke Castillo. Awesome. And, mm -hmm. and the book that you had us start reading get over your damn self oh yeah that, that's a business book yeah yes but we always rec so once we start the coaching month like the first month of training we recommend top three books podcasts um our accountability groups actually have a podcast challenge going on so we have a calendar where every day you can listen to a different podcast that you know you check in on different topics and i know that the ladies on my just my fitness squad are loving it and they've told me maria it has changed me so much so one simple behavior every day, 10, 15 minutes, just starts changing everything. Yeah. And that, what we teach, what we do as coaches, we try to like share that with our customers, right? Like if you're in our in groups, we know podcast challenge. I, and I even throw more stuff in there. Like if I ever, like Trent, I think I should listen. Maria's like, you got to listen to Trent. And it was, he had just released it that day. Um, and I, and I put that in my chat with my, with my customers. I'm like, you got to listen to this. Um, so any other questions? So go for it, you guys. Um, there is an advantage of starting the program and coaching together is that you get to share day one. Your viewers, your family's like, they're going to see you transform. So Maria talked about that. Like, don't wait until you have your first transformation do your, and, and do the first program. No, because that rock star friend of yours is going to get recruited by someone else. Someone else is going to be like, oh, I did that. So don't lose out on people, right? Don't lose on the opportunity to have your friends take this journey with you from day one. Um, nobody else has any questions? All right, guys. So this was recorded. Um, we start the training on Saturday morning. Uh, they're recorded. I know we, we have people from different uh, time zones. Um, 9 a.m. we start on Saturdays. And Maria and I, and probably Jackie, we, we do even a little bit more trainings on Tuesday nights. So we are really going to give you the tools to succeed. So you don't have to worry about that. All you need to do is commit to believing and commit to transforming. We'll work on the rest. So thank you guys for coming.